What is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? So it is draft season at the moment. We're pretty much under two weeks away from the 2021 NFL draft. And I thought it'd be a fun video to react to Colin Coward's 2018 NFL mock draft to see if he was completely wrong about any of these. If he was completely right, this was the draft class with Baker Mayfield going one, Saquon going two, Darnold going three, Denzel Ward going four, Billy Bradley Chubb went five, and you had your Josh Rosen, your um, Josh Allen's in there, Mark Jackson went at the end of the round. So let's see who he has in this mock draft. I'll leave a link to the video in the description below and drop a like if you want to see more videos like this in the future if you want me to react to any other past mock drafts either from Colin Coward or from anybody else or just reacting to more video mock drafts so without further ado we can get right into this final mock draft this morning according to Vegas odds according to all my sources according to people His that sources. I really trust Baker Mayfield's going number one I would not do that okay okay he said he wouldn't do that so we'll see who he would take number one and he was right Baker did go one Sam Darnold's my number one so I'm not mm. going to do a mock draft <laughs> predicting what's going to happen I don't want to be part of these shenanigans I'm going to tell you who I would draft, and then over the next 10 years, I'm going to pull this draft out, and you can rip me, you can criticize me, you can mock my mock draft. But I'm not going to predict what these goofy teams are doing because what I hear this morning is a quarterback who I don't even think is a top 10 quarterback is going number one over Sam Darnold. What does that mean? Top 10 quarterback in this class? <laughs> what college? Who's the best college quarterback I've seen since Andrew Luck. What? <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. I disagree with that. I disagree with that. So I, I'm going to give you what I believe. This is what the 10 teams should draft based on value, talent, and some needs. Here you go. Number one, I'm Cleveland. To me, this is the easiest decision since Andrew Luck. Sam Darnold, blue-collar work ethic. Well, maybe Sam Darnold could have developed into that if he wasn't put in a poor situation in New York. But yeah, this is not looking like a good take at all, Cal. Coward, unless he like transforms his career in Carolina and it's showing that it was New York and not Sam Darnold himself. We'll see this upcoming year if he's the starting quarterback for the Panthers, which he should be. But yeah, you could have said three other quarterbacks over Darnold and Baker, Lamar, or Josh Allen, and it would have looked like as a good take. But let's see who he has the second quarterback off the board. If it's Josh Rosen, that would be funny. Big, trunky, arm, feet, coachable. This Trunky is a no-brainer to me. Feet. I know what? the kid. I love the kid. I'm a little biased because I've, I've seen him. But he is just – this is what an NFL franchise quarterback looks and feels like. Big, like thick, can play hurt, take. has. Didn't have last year. He had to break in new wide receivers, had some turnovers early, but only had seven picks in his last 11 games. This is what I do. Number two, the Giants. They say they don't want a quarterback. So to me, one guy that has zero bust potential is Bradley Chubb. He is... Again, I'm going. Bradley Chubb would have been a fine pick. Yeah, you could have said him. Even like saying Saquon would have been not bad at the time, but or like Denzel Ward and what Quentin Nelson was also in this class. So we'll see if he has him going. The in his scouts mind. and GMs I trust. Just a top ten. He's a monster. He's the best pass rusher. Three years. He's in that Joey Bosa class mm, where he's he lived going up to, to that height. Massively disrupted. I mean, he's been hurt. Right he had that it, uh, season-ending injury, but I wouldn't okay, say Bradley that. Bradley Chubb he's the been Giants. Number so three, but he's Jets. Been good. Josh Rosen. He oh. <laughs> His first two quarterbacks off the board are the two worst out of the top five drafted. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't make that up. You can't make that up. He, he ended a Darnold and Rosen as his top two quarterbacks, and both of them didn't pan out. I mean, Rosen was in a horrible situation in Arizona, and then they traded him to Miami. He barely played there, and he was on a tanking Miami team, which was horrible. And maybe he'll find like himself as a quarterback one day. As he's on, I believe, like the Tampa Bay practice squad, or he was a third string guy. But wow, that's funny. That is funny that he has the two worst quarterbacks that end up being from this class so far that has his top two guys. Throws the best refined ball now. I still think Darnold's got a lot of growth. He's kind of raw. Rosen throws an NFL ball, has that NFL pocket. Got 12 quarterbacks, man. Durability a concern. Not I'm the Jets. He can handle the New York media smart kid. I go Josh Rosen. Number four, Browns. They're in a division with Pittsburgh, who's got Juju Smith-Schuster, who's got Antonio So Brown, he's going to say Denzel Ward. Who has a history of drafting great wide receivers. I'm going with Denzel Ward. Okay, there you go. Good he's the pick. best corner in the draft. I mean, you ask any football coach, and after they get the player. quarterback right, they want pass rushers and corners. I think he's just terrific. Now, he's a little small. 
Could he be dubious in the red zone? I don't know. But, man, is he good. Uh, good in big games. I'd take Denzel Ward. Number five, Denver. There's a theory in the NFL you don't take interior offensive linemen early. Quentin Nelson, Notre Dame, is a monster. There you Denver's go. A good All right, he's, he's on a streak here. His last two picks have been very good. With a really shaky O-line. They're bringing in Case Keenum. Case not a world-class mm. athlete. Case is a 4'8", 40 guy, a little smaller, arms okay. Give Case Keenum a fighting chance with Denver. Get him the best offensive lineman in this draft, Quentin Nelson. Indianapolis 6. I'm not a big fan of drafting quarterbacks in the first round, but Andrew Luck, in all these years, the Colts owe him one. They've never given him a legitimate star at running back. Again, he said I'm quarterbacks. Not, he said quarterbacks. I'm a big fan of running backs. So I love Todd Saquon. Gurley out of college. Uh, I think actually Georgia this year has a couple of terrific running backs. Ronald Jones at USC is going to stick in this league. I'd go Barkley here. Right. Little Reggie Bush, home run hitter, like him. Uh, number seven, Tampa. I'd go Minka Fitzpatrick. Okay, Tampa. okay. Minka's definitely a top 10 player from this class, or at least top 12. Perfect. So there Young you go. Safety. Nick Saban he went, played what, like him 15, as a true something like that. Eh. And put him in a valuable position. He can blitz off the edge. He's not going to be an elite corner like a Denzel Ward. Oh, he's a safety. Uh, but he's rangy. He's a smart football player. Saban gave him a lot of responsibility early, and he also was a guy who played in big games and was better in big games. He was a guy that would rise if they played a Clemson, rise if they played an LSU. Number eight, Bears, they got issues on that defensive side. A Derwin James, safety Florida State. Again, I've watched him. All right, he's done a lot better with these last, like, five picks. Like, yeah, he's been good. The first three, I mean, Chubb at two, if you're not taking quarterback, and in hindsight, you'd probably go Quinton Nelson because he's arguably the best offensive lineman in the NFL. Or you'd go Denzel Ward, a little bit more valuable of a player so far throughout his career, in my opinion. Or Derwin James because he's playing like an elite safety. But you know what? Chubb, two, not bad. But it's really just one and three where he messed up completely. This is, there's on. actually some safeties in this draft that a lot of people like. And I think, I think if you're looking at the Bears right now, they got the quarterback solved. They got the running back solved. Um... Who is they got a couple back? of guys uh, on the defense. Uh, what was his name? Jordan That's Howard. a line I like. Let's go and get a great corner. Now, now this is where it gets dicey. Nine and ten. Bay Area teams. Niners are at nine. I think there's one wide receiver in this draft who's a home run. It's Calvin Ridley. And again, San Francisco's got Bro, he's kind of been on point as of late. He's been on point. Now, he said there's only one wide receiver that he thinks a home run. I just want to pull up this draft. I was going to do this at the end, but I'm kind of curious right now. If I pull up the uh, 2018 draft, let me just see on Football Reference. Uh, let me see. So it ended up going McGlinchey at nine. Roquan Smith, I mean, he's was still like maybe not eighth overall good, but he's built been pretty good throughout his career. But let's see. Is there have, Has there been more than one home run hit, uh, wide receiver? There's been a couple good receivers. Yeah, definitely like DJ Moore. Calvin Ridley, but that went high in this class. I mean, DJ Moore was the first arm receiver. He's been good. Obviously, Ridley's been good. Shark, Sutton, Kirk, they've all been good. They win the second rounds. Uh, but then, yeah, a lot of, like, second round picks really haven't lived up to a lot of hype or just, like, some other receivers. Like, M well, MVS was a fifth round pick, so he's been fine for that. But Anthony Miller, you could say, hasn't. Dallas Goddard, or not Goddard, but, like, James Washington. Aiden Hurst, even as a receiver, because he went in the first round as well. I just wanted to see that currently. So let's just get back into this and let's see where he finishes off. Defensive personnel up front. But yeah, Nothing. Ridley, you had Ridley, Derwin, Ward, out at the top positions, or Minka um, there as well. He's been doing good in the bottom they half. They also the need a corner, uh, but 10. I don't think there's a corner worthy of the top 10 after Denzel Ward. And Let's I see, was there a corner? <laughs> I'm sorry for pausing. Ah, and yes, there was a corner worth the top 10 pick. Jair Alexander, you could say he's the second best corner in this league behind Jalen Ramsey at the moment. So he was wrong on that take. Kevin Ridley, even though he's small, is a terrific player. Routes, catching. Again, coachable, doesn't get in trouble. I just think, he again, I don't that. love wide receivers. But I think at nine, value, he's an explosive perimeter playmaker. You got Jimmy Garoppolo. You got Kyle Shanahan. I think th this is the spot you go get him. I wouldn't move up for him, but it's the spot I'd take him. And 10 Raiders, there's a linebacker out of Georgia. So Every time I watch Georgia, he made a, a, a ton of tackles. Um... And I, I think he's probably the kid I would go get. Um, Does he not know his name? Roquan Smith. Uh, you can watch the video. We're showing it to you right now. He was just a playmaker on the defensive side. And I think Oakland's got a ton of issues. Uh, they need corners. They need safeties. I just think of all the players available. 
he's the guy that's going to be in on more plays. He's going to be in on more tackles. And also, he's a Georgia kid, so he played in big games against Auburn, big games against Alabama, big games against Florida, LSU. This kid's been in big games in the SEC under the bright lights, and he's all over the field. And I think Oakland's got so many needs. Let's start with this kid, a playmaker, linebacker. Hi, All right, Thanks so that's his top Subscribe. 10. Started off rough with the top three, but he finished out strong with some of his takes, but he didn't have three of the top or the three of the franchise quarterbacks that went in this class. Was there a good second round pick or was it? Um, wow. So yeah, it was just Mason Rudolph. So there was actually only six quarterbacks drafted that really ended up playing. Um, like Luke Falk, yeah, obviously didn't really play. And maybe some of the other quarterbacks that went late, like Logan Woodside. But um, yeah, he had, there was three franchise guys in this class. And it's actually crazy that Sam Darnold has a thousand more. Oh, because Lamar didn't really play. He played like half his rookie season. But yeah, it is uh, funny that he had three of the franchise quarterbacks not going the top ten as I was trying to say. But that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you did. Let me know if you guys enjoy these style of videos down below. Do you give Colin a W or an L for this? Let me know. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Love you guys. Catch you on the next one. Peace.